In this video, I would like to go over how to set up custom email domain. Now, before I tell you uh, how to set up your custom email domain, let me tell you some of the benefits of it. So by default, when your customers would be sent out email for various scenarios like subscription created, transaction failed and others, uh, it actually goes via appsell.com. Uh, it's okay, but uh, if, if uh, if your customer happens to uh, be tax savvy, they can actually figure out that this email is coming from appsell.com and not from your actual brand. And uh, that would reflect poorly on your brand. That's one. Second, uh, there are a lot of services out there that uh, uh, basically go over the email content and tries to match it with the uh, domain that's sending that email. And if it doesn't turn out to be same, uh, it the deliverability of that email becomes lesser and it would there are chances that it would go to us to a spam email there isn't much that we can do as a app developers uh, for such scenarios and frankly no app would be able to help the best solution for such scenarios is, is that you set up your own domain so now let me tell you how you're gonna set up your own domain so let's say your domain is vedicapps.com let's i have bought this domain so i'm just gonna use this as an example now if i want to send email actually via this domain to my customers i'll create first of all a subdomain of it and I'm, i'll call it subscription.vedicapps.com the reason i'm doing subdomain is because if you already have email configured via your domain you don't want it to be conflicted with uh, you know uh, what you would be setting up here so it, it, it's a better approach to just have a subdomain it's still as good as your main domain and uh, but on top of it you would get all the stats for this specific uh, uh, for, for all this specific uh, subdomain separately uh, and yeah so now let's go let's update it as soon as I'll update you would see that we provide you now instructions on how to set it up now each domain provider will have uh, basically these are the entries that you need to add it to your you know domain registry as you can see right now it has this icon next to it which it's saying that it's not verified we need to add it and once we add it then it would be verified uh, now we have given some of the popular uh, basically domain providers and what are the you know common instructions to add these entries over here we also have a very detailed instructions on how to go about uh, setting it up step by step for we have over here you have example for google domains here uh, as well as on if you have shopify domain this is how it's going to be so let me actually go over this thing with you guys for this particular domain vedic app so this domain i bought it from vedic app so i'm here in uh, google domains and uh, i see I have to add three entries, right? So I'll go here. This is of TXT type. It is subscription Vedic app dots com. So I come here. I do add TXT over here. I'll say subscription and value would be this. Again, notice that I'm just providing subscription here, even though over here it says subscription.vedicapps.com because that varies from domain to domain, domain provider to domain provider. For Google domains, you just need to provide the subdomain. You don't need to provide the entire thing. And that's why I have done that. So I have added it. And now if I do add, it's added. Now let's add another one. That's also TXT format. So let's come here, TXT and again i'm gonna take up to this part and the value would be this entire thing again this is gonna vary from each domain all right so copy it from here itself from when you register your own domain and this is add so i have two and the third is email dot subscription this is the cname type This is mailgun.org. Mail 
that's pretty much it and it can take up to 24 hours uh, however from our experience it gets basically done within 15 minutes let's see if it's already done uh, it's not yet let's see so what I'm gonna do because behind the scenes we are using mailgun uh, I'm gonna actually go to mailgun to see if it's verified although it can take up to 24 hours that's what we are saying over here too but that's pretty much what you need to do if you have done this uh, this many steps please wait up to 24 hours and you would see that you would see right check mark check mark next to these records and that's when you know that your domain is verified and now your emails are gonna go via your own domain 